Uh, good morning. I'm going to demonstrate the uh, Passat TDI's warm-up strategy, as we call it, which is when it hits third gear, it will make the EGTs soar in an effort to get the emissions components up to temperature. We're in third gear now. EGTs top left on the scan gauge. We're going about 40 miles an hour. 1500 RPMs, very light throttle. By your company. We found your representatives to be punctual, trustworthy, and meticulous about their work. The end result is beautiful and well worth the investment. I find myself rushing home from work just to soak in my beautiful new tub. I simply can't remember having ever dealt with a company that is so service oriented. First gear. It's hard to show what it does if it stops and go to traffic like that. <coughs> uh, if you can get a steady run, it will keep you on high EGTs until the that temperature is around 800 degrees. YouTube. So we're going to do a, a follow-up to this morning's video of the 2012 Passat TDI warm-up strategy. Uh, I have the camera positioned a little bit better this time so you can see the tack and speedometer in addition to the scan gauge. Uh, so I'm just going to take it easy here, get out on the road and head home. Something tells me I'm probably going to have to do this at night so you have the dash lights on because the uh, sun reflecting on the dash is pretty wicked.
You know, the warm-up business is over, but I'll just let it keep on recording. Should give you guys an idea of how boost exhaust temperature and the downstream exhaust temperature sort of interact with each other. Getting ready to merge on 495 here. The beltway around DC, oh boy. Yeah, gotta turn it off. Can't see. 